in the ancient realm of Laurentia, where rugged landscapes and sprawling kingdoms stretched as far as the eye could see. A storm was brewing. At the heart of the Stormul stood the mighty Viking chieftain Olaf, renowned for his prowess in battle and unwavering loyalty to his land. But trouble loomed as accusations of treachery echoed through the stone walls of the kingdom. The wise bishop, a man of the cloth and trusted advisor to the king, claimed that Olaf harbored nefarious intentions, plotting to expand his domain, even worse, conspiring to end the king's reign. Olaf, bound by honor and loyalty, denied these allegations vehemently and sought a peaceful resolution. He called upon his longtime friend and skilled strategist, Saigaming, to help resolve the escalating conflict. Together, Saigaming and Olaf approached the king, hoping to clear their names and prevent war. However, the bishop, fueled by his own ambitions and distrust, charged the duo of a conspiracy aimed at overthrowing the king, pushing the ruler to the brink of rage. The king, Manipulated by the bishop's cunning words, made a fateful decision. He declared war on both Olaf and Saigaming, setting the stage for a battle that would shape the destiny of Laurentia. The kingdom of Laurentia now found itself divided into two factions. On one side stood the honorable Olaf and the strategist Saigaming, ready to defend their honor and prove their innocence. Opposing them were the king and the bishop, a dark alliance fueled by power-hungry ambition. The clash between these two factions marked the beginning of an epic battle that would resonate through the annals of history. A battle where the themes of honesty and the true nature of power would be put to the ultimate test. Your castle awaits. At the battle's outset, everyone begins with a mere 100 gold and no honor. A fair start to level the field. I set up a stockpile, granary and market. With basic foods bought, I double ration my people, swiftly earning honor. And then I place some saw pits, apple farms and more food sources to my state, ensuring resources grow steadily. Following that, I establish a treasury and set normal taxes for my workers, generating early campaign funds. Arise, yeoman! As my honor hits 10, I swiftly advance my state to yeoman status, unlocking new construction options. Continuing, I construct hovels to enlist additional workers, expanding my state's productivity. As my population increases, I introduce more food sources like dairy farms and hunter's posts to ensure ample sustenance for my people. And then I dispatch my top scouts to check out Bishop and King's territories, assessing their progress. Also, I keep an eye on my teammate's status to ensure he's prepared for the upcoming major battle. Arise, squire. As I earned another 15 honor, I promptly upgraded my state to the squire rank. This allowed me to unlock additional buildings to enhance my growing state. Simultaneously, I establish an iron mine to extract crucial iron resources, which I can trade for gold to procure essential state necessities. And also, I swiftly erect a lord's kitchen to accumulate more honor, which I channel into training troops for my cause. Arise, knight! Upon achieving 30 honor, I promptly advance to the rank of knight, leveraging my state's strengths for greater gains. After that, I begin constructing a modest gate and due to rising crime, I establish a courthouse to maintain order in my realm. Simultaneously, I begin constructing an armory and barracks, commencing the training of troops for defense. 
And also, I commenced training my initial archers and stationed them atop the keep for defensive purposes. And then, I fortify my settlement with walls, safeguarding against potential attacks from the bishop or the king. To diversify food production, I establish wheat farms, mills and bakeries, guaranteeing increased honour through ample provisions. With my iron sales boosting my gold reserves, I begin training pikemen for my front line in the impending war. Hi, sir! After that, I gather my pikemen by the bridge, initiating a defence strategy to safeguard my Viking allies' territory. I also noticed, motivated by personal convictions, the Vikings, stuck by the bishop's words, launch a fierce assault, fueled by bravery and a thirst for retribution. Well, I cannot blame them, and decide, the bishop is the main reason why this battle ignite. Responding swiftly to the Viking assault on the bishop, I prioritise training more archers and pikemen to bolster our offence. Unbeknownst to me, the Vikings' anger towards the bishop escalates. Out of fury, they launch a massacre on his troops, catching him off guard amidst of his farming operations. With the war in full swing, I gather my trained archers and pikemen, preparing to support my Viking allies' assault. Pikemen, forward! Archers, moving! Pikemen, advance! The men are in Amidst the war, we realize the king hasn't sent reinforcements to aid the bishop. Seizing this opportunity, we launch an assault on the bishop's keep, aiming to eliminate him and shift the tide of battle. Forward! Woman, on the move! Our troops are under attack! Look sharp, lads! We're on the move! In the aftermath of the bishop's demise, news of his death spread like wildfire across the land of Laurentia and its neighboring realms. Whispers of the Vikings' involvement, bolstered by sire gaming assistance, echoed through the people's conversations. The Vikings found a newfound favor, their reputation growing as heroes who had rid the realm of a deceitful threat. Meanwhile, within the castle wall, the king began to realize that the web of lies spun by the bishop had unraveled, leaving a trail of doubt and mistrust. But Sire Gaming approached the king, aiming to quell the looming conflict, urging reason over pride, proposed a peaceful resolution, emphasizing the cost of war to the people. Yet, the king's pride and thirst for a power clouded his judgment. He defiantly declared his lack of fear towards the Vikings or Psy Gaming, his stubborn resolve unyielding. And so, the battle raged on. Olaf and I set our sights on the King's state, driven by the need to restore honor and put an end to the conflict that had gripped the realm. 
While awaiting the Vikings for our ultimate assault on the king, I seized the opportunity to pick off some of his troops stationed along his fortress walls. Swiftly, I trained some additional archers and pikemen to bolster our forces, ensuring ample troops as we advanced towards the King's Keep. Deploying my finest scouts, I dispatched them to the King's Keep to assess his defending forces and strategies. Your command, sir! With the arrival of the Viking King's troops, our forces launch a final assault on the castle. The clash would decide the victor of this fierce conflict that had engulfed the realm. Pikeman, forward! Pikeman, advance! Shoulder pikes! We move! Forward! Our bows shall sing! As my archers seize the walls and towers, I swiftly order my pikemen and vikings to launch a united assault directly to the king's keep and kill the king. We're on the move! Come on lads! Let's get going! Best foot forward! A peasant gone that time. God, why have you forsaken me? The crown is yours. As the echoes of battle faded and the dust of war settled, Sire Gaming and Olaf found themselves standing amidst the aftermath of their hard-fought victory. Olaf, with a solemn nod, turned to Sire Gaming. Our victory has been hard won. My friend, We've proven our honor and valor. Sai Gaming's gaze met Olive's, a bond forged through the fires of conflict. Indeed, Olaf, the time has come to chart a new path for Lorencia. With a gesture of respect, Olaf stepped aside and gestured toward the throne. This is your victory, Sai Gaming. Take the throne as the new king of Lorencia. In a solemn pledge, Olaf knelt before Sai Gaming. His hand held over his heart. I, Olaf, chieftain of the Vikings, swear to be your shield and sword, an eternal ally in the times of peace and strife.